this stuff. Let's hide all this stuff. Let's go and create a plane. And from here, what we can do is we can, um, let's see, what do we want to do here? So we don't need these many polys, obviously. Uh, we're going to go to the hyper shader, which is up here. Find the hyper shader here, you can go to Windows, Rendering Editor, you can go to hyper shade here. Uh, two different ways to do that. And I'm just going to apply a brand new texture. I don't know what these Lamberts are. I might have to kill these Lamberts, I think. Let's. There we go. So let's create another Lambert here. And I'm just going to rename it. And I'm going to call this, um, was it Texture Atlas? Parking, parking Lot uh, Decal Atlas, I think I called it. So we'll just do that. And let's just focus on this one. So to focus on uh, what you've just created or what you have selected, I, it's just one of these buttons here. Input and output connections, I believe. Um, so that way it kind of cleans it up because it can get really muddy and really um, messy. Okay. Hold on. It's really hot in here. My computer is like rendering um, the scene in Unreal and it's just crazy. Chat rules. Be nice to each other. Thanks. Okay, got it. <laughs> okay, I don't know where that's coming from. Um, I, I probably made some chat rules back in the day or something. It's still showing up. So let's go to uh, color here. I'm going to go to file. And um, let's go to image name. And let's search this up. So parking lot, parking lot, content. Uh, and then just go to the textures. I have a targa here. So let's load up the Targa. Okay, cool. And it already plugs in a transparency for me, so it's smart enough to know that. So I'm just going to select my plane that I have currently. I'm just going to uh, go to existing, and then I'm going to... Okay, so sorry, I should probably explain this. If you have your assets selected, if you hold right-click, you're going to get this menu here. This is uh, the hot menu, marking menu. Lots of people have different ways they want to call it. And you go to existing materials and then you just go to parking or you go to assign existing materials and then you, I created this one so I'm just going to hover it, click over it and then I'm going to press 6 to show it on to, on inside Maya or to show textures, sorry, is the 6 is the hotkey or you can go to, uh, I believe it's, no, nope, textured right here, okay, right over your view. So obviously this is where things are looking like right now and so for me let's for testing purposes so this is I'm gonna call this uh, parking lot uh, decal atlas and let's call this uh, OG so this says this has this shows everything uh, and then I'm gonna duplicate this by going to edit uh, duplicate or control D I'm gonna move this over and I'm going to have just the D show up. So to do that, I'm just going to go to my UVs, uh, UV editor. And I normally I have this on my second screen, uh, which um, if I have this on my second screen, uh, it's just easier for me to, to, to use it. So I'm going to change that and because you guys or you all probably want to see this. I'm just going to close my outliner. I'm going to go to my panels, I'm going to go to saved layouts, I'm going to go and choose perspective and UV editor. This way, now you can see my UV editor here, and you can see my perspective here. Uh, and then, uh, typically what I'll do is I will, actually hold on, let me backtrack, go to perspective, go to UV editor. I'm going to actually move this toolkit over into this box here, so that I have access to it. Come on, don't be mean. Here we go. So I'm just going to close it now. Now go to my save panels, perspective UV editor. Now I have the UV toolkit right here. All right. So let's say I want to make my D, right? And I just want to test, test this out, see how this looks. I'm going to select the UV here. I'm going to go to shell or select to shell right over here to the right. Select back to UVs. So these are my UVs. And now I'm going to scale this. And I'm going to move it to the, over the D. 
and I'm gonna have the D there. Okay, so now this is my D decal. All right, I'm gonna duplicate that. I'm gonna bring this over. So let me go to my outliner just to make sure that everything is nice and clean here. So this is now my D, okay? And then this one is now going to be, I'm gonna go to uh, object mode. Okay. Do you see my marking menus? Okay, so you do see my marking menus. Menus. It might have been a Windows um, Windows 7 thing where you, people couldn't see my marking menus, so I had to learn how to use a different menu that shows everybody everything. Uh, duplication glitch. Duplication glitch. I, I I don't know if I don't know if that's a glitch. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna go back to UVs here, or sorry, UVs here, and then I'm gonna move. Uh, let's say let's use my my wife and my favorite number. Okay, uh, so D17, and then I'm gonna. So this one is D17. Let me just make sure my outliner, so I'm going to call this 17 here. Duplication glitch. Maybe, yeah, see, like, I don't know what you guys are, or what uh, what you see, because I'm focusing on my screen. My other monitor here, um, it looks okay, so I'm not too sure. Okay, and then now I'm going to move over, and I'm gonna, I need to create the lane, my... Um, What's that called? Um, my my block and lane. I've been awake for 24 hours. I haven't slept. Wow, dude, you should probably go to bed. Should probably go to bed. I don't. Uh, that's crazy. All right, so I'm just going to snap this to the grid. So to snap things to a grid, just hold the X. X is for snapping to grid. So I'm just going to hold X. I'm going to drag the arrow. And then you'll see it go like that. Um, now, if you notice, it's not doing anything. So what I'll do is I'm just going to move this like that. I actually don't know what... I don't know what how big the lane is right now. Um... This is where having a car in your scene is really handy. Uh, let's see. Let, let me just look at my reference. So let's see. How big is my car? Let's see here. So my car looks like it would be at least like three or four meters. So let's make sure that the lane. So for now, let's just say six meters. This is six meters. Let's, let's just say that that's fine for now. Okay. So let's go lane like that. All right, so now I have these three as testing. So let's test these out. So I'm gonna export these as FBXs because I think that's what I've been doing in um, in the in the level. So let's go to props. Yeah, they've been FBXs. Okay. Uh, did I save the name? No, I did not. So let's just go like that. And let's. So I just controlled C. To copy the name, I'm going to export selection, send to Unreal. This is really interesting. I should probably use that more often, uh, but I don't. Let's go to parking lot, content, props, changes to FBX, over like that. Uh, scale units is 100. I believe that's correct. So let's, let's hope that that works out. I need to go back to object mode. So I'm going to go back to my object mode and go to select here. Um, F8 is the hotkey to go back to object mode. I'm going to copy the name of that. Do the same thing. Uh, let's copy. Okay. Now the lane as well. Export selection. And let's just export that. Okay, so now we have all those things exported. Let's go back into Unreal, and it's going to ask me, hey, man, there's a bunch of stuff.